Hello and welcome to another 23 chairs video. In this video I'm going to be renovating this 1960s bamboo coffee table. This probably would have originally had a glass top. I have seen them with a woven bamboo top but they usually have a glass top. At some point it's got broken and just been replaced with this wooden top. Um, it's not very even and it does have some cracks and some holes in it. So to start off I'm going to sand that back. Now just moving on to filling those cracks and gaps um, and small holes. I did start off with the official filler tool but very quickly went back to my favourite technique of using my finger. Not recommended but I do find it works. The filler's had a good couple of hours to dry now, so time to sand that back along with the legs. Um, the legs are going to be left bare as they are, I'm just going to give them uh, a lick of varnish to protect them. So just taking off any rough spots or any bits where the old varnish has um, started to crack or peel away. Now sanding the top, trying to get that as smooth as possible. Now I'm planning to paint the top or part of the top so now time to come in with some masking tape and just mask off that bamboo strip around the top to make sure that doesn't get any paint on it. Now I'm just going around and making sure that the tape is pressed down really well so that paint can't seep under the edges. Uh, actually using a pastry fork for that as that was what I had on hand. Um, and now coming back in and painting the edge of the wood in uh, an ivory paint. Um, I'm actually using an off cut of memory foam for this. I didn't want to leave brush marks, so I thought maybe memory foam would be the way forward. And now I've put that first coat of paint on, uh, you can really see that where there are any holes or blemishes or cracks in the wood. So um, at this point I'm going to go back in with the filler and just fill around the edge there. Now sanding that smooth. So next is a second coat of paint on that outside edge. And now you can see why I'm only painting the outside edge. Um, I'm actually planning to use wallpaper to cover the top. So starting off by just using the top as a rough template to get the rough shape. Um, that will do for now. Now I'm spraying on some contact adhesive. So I just leave this for a few minutes to get tacky before it goes onto the stool. I did just kick loads of little bits on it so they had to be picked off as well, that was great. Now I'm smoothing it down, starting from the middle and just making sure I'm not getting any creases, any bubbles in there. Then when it's really thoroughly dried, this was actually the next day, when it's really thoroughly dried, I'm actually using the edge of the stool as a guide for the scissors. It does mean that the scissors are slightly scratching the paint that I've already done, which is a bit unfortunate, but I kind of knew this was gonna happen. It's the best way to get a really neat finish on that paper. So 
so I'm just going back in now with a really small brush to touch up all those little scratches that I made with the scissors. It wasn't too bad. This is always a fun part, removing masking tape. It's just so satisfying to see that really crisp edge of here as well. I've just spotted a tiny little piece did get left behind, so just going in there so carefully with a screwdriver. I don't want to scratch that paint again, so really, really carefully just taking that out. So the final stage is to apply a good few coats of varnish um, that will help waterproof and protect the paper just to give it a little bit more strength. It is wallpaper which is fairly durable but as a coffee table it's going to need a little bit more protection. And we're done, here's the finished product. Um, I'm really pleased with this transformation. It's another piece that I've just fallen a little bit in love with and would happily keep in my house. Find me on Instagram at 23chairs and search 23chairs shop to find me on Etsy if you're interested in this piece or any others. Thanks for watching.